it was worth slowing down a bit. There were a few critical moments earlier when those exchanges, those bishop for knight trades, everything, uh, when all of those were happening. Maybe Eventric should have just uh, slowed down slightly. Um, now it just looks like push the pawns and you win. Actually, David, you're right. This is like a rookie mistake that people make, especially on over-the-board tournaments. It's like, you know, your opponent plays super quickly and for some reason you get carried away and you match the pace. And yeah. this is where mistakes happen. Yeah, I mean, it's quite rare also for Chucky to get outplayed, you mm -hmm. know, because he's so experienced. But he has been matching, as you say, hands' his speed and that's not really like Chucky, you know. He needed to use that time a bit better, I think, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, you know, work out the problems in the middle game. I'm not really sure where he's gone wrong. <laughs> I say that. It's been such a, a beautiful game that I don't know where... What, there's no one mistake. And that, that will make, that's what makes the win even more impressive, that it's just been, you know, when you can't identify a mistake, it's, it's smooth, yeah? Very yeah. smooth. Kind of thing that Magnus Carlsen uh, would very often do to his opponents, you know? Yeah. Where did your opponent go wrong? No didn't, blunders, but you win. Didn't Magnus say that that was his favourite type of victory? Yeah. The kind where the opponent's like, he did, yeah. I, I did everything I could. Yeah, yeah, what, still, what I did lost. I do wrong? Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's just those two bishops just came to life, right? I mean, uh, it's, it's the Berlin. I'm going to have to start... Oh, I said, did I just say I'm going to have to start playing the Berlin? <laughs> it's got the reputation as being one of the most boring openings where the queens come off and you grind away. Uh, but it's a blooming good opening, the Berlin, isn't it, David? I mean, and you've had, do you, have you ever, No, you're Caro. You're Caro woman. Yeah, Super Caro woman. I yeah. remember the Berlin from the World Championship match in 2016, though, and that was, uh, well, I don't know if entertaining is the word, but it was <laughs> tense. Yeah. yeah. At, at famously 2000. Mm -hmm. This is when Kramnik used it. Um, this is when it became popular against oh. Gary Kasparov to become a world champion. And I had a job there. Um, I was £10 an hour showing people to those the chairs in the stadium. <laughs> That's quite good. £10 an hour was great in 2000s. Yeah, yeah oh, I, was, nice. I, was, I was rolling in it. You know? and, I, and I could watch the chess after I showed them to the chairs. Brilliant. Yeah. But then they started playing the Berlin and like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I'd rather be anywhere else. So. It's a good way to frustrate White, just to make them... It feels like banging your head against the wall trying to break the Berlin. And um, I've had many kind of games when I've had black and my opponents have just got frustrated, overpressed. And it's a good counter-attacking opening. And OK, Hans, meanwhile, pushing pawns. The OK, really nice move for retreating his rook, oh. offering a rook trade. That's a brilliant move, because now his dark square bishop is allowed to come in. You know, uh, he's breaking the pin. And uh, wow. has Chucky resigned? Chucky yes. has just resigned. 17 minutes, wow. a smile. And he looks a little bit surprised, actually, Hans Niemann. But this is a fantastic result for the American three points. It's uh, suddenly looking good for him to qualify. But for Ivanchuk, I think Ty said almost 0% to qualify if yeah. he loses this one. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, I, you know, just because I'm such a big Chucky fan, yeah. you know, I, I love the way he plays. I love his manner. I love everything about the guy. And, you know, um, he's out now, unfortunately. Yeah. So, uh, say la vie, but yeah. still sad. It was another rather quick win. 35 moves and only 17 minutes for Hans Niemann. What happened here? Yeah, just a perfect play from Neiman throughout. A very solid opening. It seems like he was very well prepared, very familiar with the ideas, more so than Avantric, perhaps. And uh, we saw the bishops versus the knights later on, and that was the deciding factor. Black had won a, won a pawn before this, but the way Hans clinched it was very nice, very smooth. First, he pushed a pawn forward. This required some calculation because the white knight leapt to attack this bishop. And rather than move his bishop, he spotted that he could give a check first, kicking the white king further away from stopping these two very strong black pawns. And now he gained a bit more time by pushing his pawn forward. Some serious calculation needs to be done. For example, if the white knight moved this direction, attacking the black rook, then he could play the move he played in the game, dropping back, saving his bishop. There's no time to take it because of this connection, uh, this tension with the rooks. Uh, the black bishop also defends the black rook, but uh, we saw in the game, Chucky tried one last uh, move. He blockaded the black pawns, but after this rook retreat, he resigned.